All right, guys. So you know I love it when you send me uh, stories or clips or videos or things to talk about. And one of you guys sent me this clip that really, really, really blew my mind. Okay, it blew my mind. Right, as it features Joe Biden back during the 2008 campaign trail, and he is discussing uh, withdrawal strategies for getting out of the war in iraq and it is very 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 creepy what this man says back then when you think about how the biden administration executed the afghan uh, withdrawal in 2021 when he actually became president take a look this war must end we must end this war and we must end it in a way where we tell the american people the truth i've been criticizing this administration for seven years I've been, as the press often says, his harshest, and I would act, re respectfully suggest, his most accurate critic. And guess what? I say tell him to tell the truth. We got to tell the truth. There's a lot at stake in how we end this war. It makes a big difference how we end this war. And it makes a big difference to tell the American people the truth about what our options are in ending this war. If tomorrow, the order goes out from the president. I'm president of the United States. I issue an order. End the war today. Begin to withdraw all American troops. It will take a year to get the American troops out. Do you hear me now? That's the truth. It will take a year to get them physically out. Now, if you leave all the equipment behind, you might be able to do it in seven months. And you leave those billions of dollars of weapons behind, I promise they're going to be used against your grandchild and mine someday. So it matters. And so again, the truth. We all are, all of us running for office, we know the Democrats are against the war. So what we want to do, there's this race to prove to you I can get out faster than the other guy. But it's pretty misleading. I have a son who's a captain in the United States Army. He's, his unit, whether and when he goes, remains to be seen. His unit has been told they should be prepared to go in 08. Well, I don't want him going. But he's going to go if his unit goes. But I also don't want my grandson going 15 or 18 years from now. And how we end this war is going to determine whether my grandson goes back or my granddaughter goes back. And so, you know, you hear, I think it's time for the Democrats to at least level with the American people and with one another about what we have to do. I'm the only person in either political party who's laid out a specific plan how to end the war in Iraq. Wow, wow, it, it just blows my mind to think about how Joe Biden, 13, 14 years ago, this video is from 2007, he knew, he was aware of the consequences of withdrawing from an, a country like Iraq and Afghanistan too quickly and recklessly. He knew, he was 100% aware Okay, because even though he's talking about Iraq, the, the things he's talking about, it still applies to Afghanistan, right? That whole region is essentially at war with each other. So he knew because he said it himself. He said, well, listen, if we withdraw, withdraw today, uh, he's implying that a responsible withdrawal would take a year, right? It would take a year to get all the troops out. But he's saying that back then the Democrats were basically campaigning on we need to get out and we need to get out now without actually going through the process of doing it responsibly, which means not leaving behind billions of dollars worth of weapons. And which Joe Biden then says that, hey, if we leave behind billions of dollars worth of weapons, best believe they're going to use those weapons against us in the future in which we will then have to go back to that country again because we left those weapons there in a region that is essentially war-torn, okay? That, that's what Biden is saying. Now, again, the creepy part is fast forward to the future, 13, 14 years in the future when this dude is president and he's in office, he literally executes on the same exact plan that he said was irresponsible and that would lead us back into a, a war again in the future, right? He's essentially executed on a plan that he knew 13, 14 years ago would lead to the Taliban <laughs> terrorists getting access 
to American weaponry that they will eventually use on us. Guys, this is unbelievable. Right? It is unbelievable. He knew this 13, 14 years ago. And when he got in the office, he ended up executing a withdrawal that he knew would have a terrible outcome. And again, Biden probably doesn't remember that he said any of that stuff. But guys, it makes you wonder. It makes you think. If this man knew this, our military probably knew this. Was the Biden administration's plan all along to leave the weapons there? Did they do that on purpose, knowing that the Taliban was going to take those weapons? And then eventually, uh, because they have access to those weapons, because they'll probably try to use those weapons on us in the future. Hey, you know what? We'll leave now, but we'll be back in the future, right? Because, I mean, listen, is Biden really running anything? Probably not, okay? And we know how the military industrial complex works, right? We know that in order for them to continue to make money off the American people, the government dom, we have to continue to be in wars, right? We have to keep fighting wars, okay? So, again, it begs the question of did we do this on purpose? Because we left behind billions of dollars worth of U.S. weaponry for the Taliban to use freely, right? Taliban threw a parade with our weapons, with our Humvees, okay? After we lost thousands of lives over there in Afghanistan fighting that war, right? U.S. soldiers. We lost some on the way out. And civilians as well, too, right? Civilians that we were supposed to be trying to protect. They lost their lives, too. And we left Americans behind. And we went through all that just for Biden to execute on a plan that he, that he predicted 13 years ago was going to require us to go back into that country. It, it, it really makes you think, right? I mean, my mind is actually really blown. I don't understand how you know this and you carry out and you still carry out a plan to withdraw too quickly. I mean, we literally withdrew in seven months. Biden got an office in January. We withdrew in August, literally exactly seven months. Seven months. We left billions of dollars of weapons behind. Exactly the same thing that he said. So that is almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So that means that the next part of what he's saying is probably going to happen. We're probably going to have to go back to Afghanistan. And they probably know that we're going to have to go back. Because they know that eventually those weapons will probably be used against us. And the sad part is that that's probably what the plan was all along from the Biden administration. Who knows at this point? Because they never wanted to leave Afghanistan in the first place. The only reason they was trying to leave Afghanistan was because Trump <laughs> essentially made them, right? Because if it wasn't for Trump, they'd be like, oh, no, we need to stay here forever, right? And there's people on the left that continue to blame Trump. Well, it was Trump's plan and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Listen to what Biden said in 08, 07. If that was truly Trump's plan, which I don't believe it was because Trump's plan was actually conditional on what was happening on the grounds. And I'm pretty sure if the Taliban was starting to overrun the country while Trump was in office, he would have clapped him. OK, that's why I think Trump would have did. I know for a fact that's what he, he would have done based off his uh, past behavior of clapping people. Right. Uh, A.K.A. General Soleimani. And I don't believe he would have left behind billions of dollars worth of U.S. weapons. I don't think he would have done that either. But he definitely knew and he admitted that when we do leave, this country is going to fall. But everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. Which is why we, we just had to go ahead and leave at some point. And that we could not stay forever. But like Joe Biden said in 07, 08, it matters how you leave. But even if it was Trump's plan, Biden was in charge at the time in terms of executing. And again, if he knew over a decade ago the negative ramifications of a reckless withdrawal in which we leave behind U.S. weapons that could be used against us in the future, then why did he go forward with it, right? Nothing was making him go forward with that withdrawal. He decided to go forward with it himself. So he has nobody else to blame but himself considering that he was in charge and he, he knew what the negative ramifications would be. He knew. So I don't want to hear no blame on Trump. <laughs> this right here is even more damning evidence that Biden knew what would happen when he executed his withdrawal. And honestly, that makes me think that, hey, maybe Biden wasn't necessarily running this thing. 
Maybe it was a military industrial complex that was like, hey, you know what? We'll go forward with withdrawal, Mr. Biden, since you want to withdraw so much, since you want to withdraw so bad. But we're going to do it in a way <laughs> that's going to make you look really bad. But we'll get them out. Just know that we'll be back in the future. right? We're going to do it in a way that makes it so we have to go back in the future. Because best believe they wanted to stay, right? They wanted to stay forever, okay? Again, this is this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. This is damning, in my opinion. This is damning. Biden should be impeached just for this. He should be standing trial to answer the question of why the hell did you go for with a plan that you knew may cost us uh, American lives in the future, like he said in that video. Why did you go forward with it? Considering what happened, <laughs> considering the embarrassment that it was for this country. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.